everybody. We're doing a uh, four pin demo. This is using the uh, module which you can get very inexpensively on eBay called the HC-SR04. It consists of an um, ultrasonic sensor with uh, VCC for power, which I've wired to five volts. Ground, GND, which I've used a black wire for ground. And two pins, one is called trigger and the other is called echo, which I'm using as uh, green and blue wires, respectively. Uh, to um, show distance, I'm using these three LEDs, which I've plugged directly into the Arduino mezzanine bus. And you can see that this entire setup can be done without any breadboards at all, although breadboarding is not a bad idea. We kind of don't need it here. And what you do, and this is kind of cool, is um, you drag this out so you can make a little space, click on the little um, crystal, and now you've got yourself a nice little range facility. But you want to be able to see the LEDs at the same time. So um, when you uh, grab this, sort of bring things a little closer, zoom out a bit, and then you can see how this works. And now you can see the LEDs are turning off and the LEDs are turning on. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And you can see that a little bit better. So now you've got a measure of range based on the LED output. Let's take a look and see how the code works on that one. We'll stop the simulation. Take a look at the code. It's pretty simple. I used a, um, a for loop to set up um, the pins between um, 9 and 14, all as outputs. And you can see why that's being done right over in here, because that's where all my LEDs are sitting. And I even made use of the little ground over in here. So basically, all you have to do is assert pin 13, 11, and 9 to turn on the three LEDs. Uh, the um, reading of the ultrasonic sensor requires both a trigger pin and an echo pin, which um, I've wired up to um, pins 7 and 6. But we've parameterized that in case you want to add some more echo sensors. Uh, we've got to um, assert the uh, trigger pin as um, low, uh, wait a couple of uh, microseconds, and then assert it as high, and then wait for 10 microseconds for the... Um, uh, return chirp. Uh, do a trigger low and then take a look at the echo pin and we get the sound wave travel time. Uh, that comes in in um, microseconds and what you want to do is multiply that by um, a number that represents something for converting from microseconds into distance. And so then once you get that you get it in centimeters and um, you can print it out if you like. And in fact, what we can do is we can see what the serial monitor has to say. But the interesting thing, of course, is the visual output. And so what we did was we encoded, tediously, um, the, um, uh, the output to uh, the different uh, sort of um, LEDs. Now, what we could have done, which kind of makes it a little bit nicer, is parameterized the, um, uh, the number uh, just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be a lot, but you could do something where you have uh, sort of a, um, a procedure that allows you to write out to three LEDs, giving them the three different states. And of course, if you use zero and one, this might actually look a little nicer in terms of the code, but I haven't gotten that far into the code yet. And we could sort of see how that might work if you wanted to. Uh, just set up as a void, um, write uh, LEDs, um, and then you want to have integer um, LED1. Well, let's just use um, A comma integer B comma integer C. I would have done LED1, but the L looks kind of like a 1, so I don't like that. And then what we'll do is we'll do the digital write for A, B, and C to LEDs 13, 11 and 9 and we'll just um, write out the state A, B, and C. 
And that ought to do it for us. Uh, so then, over in here, you just call um, write LEDs. 0, 0, 0. And then uh, do the same thing over in here, only it's going to be 1, 0, 0. And then do the same thing over here, only it's going to be 1, 1, 0. And, uh, ooh, wrote 2 when I meant to write 1. And then over in here, we'll just write LEDs 1, 1, 1. And now it's very clear what the pattern is going to look like just by inspecting the code. Let's see if uh, that compiles, and certainly enough it does. And uh, now let's zoom out a little bit and take a look at these LEDs and see what happens. And sure enough, works just fine, and the code's a lot more readable. So hope you like my little demo. It shows you a little bit about the coding. Uh, thanks a bunch. Talk to you later. Bye.